Did you know about me uh, prior to this, or uh, did, you, did this all come about after this? you had seen the script or somebody told you that there was a story floating around? I didn't. I'm a big football fan, but uh, you know, I didn't really start getting into football, especially NFL football, until I was like 13. So it was like 84, which uh -huh. is just past your day. But um, you know, I had heard about the script actually from a couple of directors, a couple of guys that read the script and were kind of lobbying for the job. And we had uh, you know, other business going on at the time. Actually, David Frankel, the guy who directed the pilot for Entourage, uh -huh. was the first person who told me about the script and mm -hmm. said, this is a part for you. Nobody else could play this part like you. And I said, cool, you know, but until it was like, kind of like a reality, I didn't really find the project. And then when I read the script, I was surprised that I didn't know who you were, uh -huh. being the big football buff that I am. Well, you're a football there fan. Isn't a, there isn't a person from Philadelphia or an Eagles fan that doesn't know who you are. Yeah, well, we so, sort of pounded so, it into them. But, you know, that actually, you know, that puts a lot more weight on my shoulders because I want to do you and the fans and the people of Philadelphia some justice in doing this role. Well, you know, that's how we felt the first time we met you and uh, just the commitment you had made to me and the city of Philadelphia, how you were going to approach this role. And, yeah. and uh, just looking at you out here on the field and the attitude you've taken, uh, you have the body doubles, but you're pushing those guys aside as much as you can to, to, to play the role the way you think it ought to be played. Yeah, well, look, I mean, that's... that's, that's what, what you were about on the field, you know what I mean? It was all or nothing, and, uh, and that's what it's about. It's a lot easier for me to do a role like this because I enjoy the game so much. Uh, I have a desire to play the game. I've always wanted to be a professional athlete before mm -hmm. I was, became an actor. So to have the opportunity, you know, I just want to be one of the guys. You know, we were in camp and stuff. I didn't want to show up and say, you know, let me know when it's really time to roll or come with my video camera. I wanted to get out there and be one of the guys, yeah, you know? Yeah. I wanted to make the team. I wanted them to feel like, you know what? This kid could come in there because of his heart and his his commitment to the game and to the team that he'd be he'd be good enough to make it. Mm -hmm. Thirteen. So you're growing up in uh, in Boston, the Boston area. Yeah. I assume your favorite team had to be those Patriots, right? You know what? They still are. But I got the Eagle green on. I'm wearing it with pride. If the Patriots don't win again, I'll definitely be rooting for the Eagles. But what better next year? Right after the release of the movies and mm -hmm. the Eagles, Eagles, Patriots in the Super Bowl. Wouldn't again. that be the best thing going? Me and you, yeah. there, we'd oh. have to be on opposite sides of the field again, buddy. <laughs> I don't know about that, but we've already created that bond. Yeah, that bond's course, already here. Course. You know that from what. And there's a bunch of guys that play on the Eagles now that I've met since I've been in town, and I've met along the way of my career that I, you know, I think are great guys. You know, and uh, the amount of respect that I have for the guys that do this on a daily basis and make their livelihood out of this is. Uh, it's, it's huge now. I mean, I yeah. always had a lot of respect for, for guys that get out there and do this, but, but it's a whole other ball game when you're getting out there with the real guys. Yeah, when you, and, and you're taking the hits out of here. I was telling you earlier, when I came in, I woke up this morning and I was so right. thankful that you were the guy that was going to be taking all the hits and you're the guy that's going to be taking all those strides out here in the field. Yeah, I think, I think my makeup artist is going to get the Oscar <laughs> for all the bruises and stuff, but they're all real. <laughs> Show them that thumb. What happened there? Uh, no, you've the been thumb, You've backed up a little bit out here. My thumbnail ripped off yesterday. I was trying to protect this hand, which I got shattered and smashed for the second time. So I went to protect this hand with that hand. I got my thumbnail ripped all the way off, but, you know, part of the game. Hey, they shoot horses, don't they? Exactly. Yeah. I woke up this morning feeling like Nick Nolte <laughs> from Long North Dallas 40. You know that first scene where he crawls out of bed in his underwear? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, f I felt exactly like that this oh, morning. But you I know what? As soon as you get out there, you start stretching out. Yeah. You see the field. Right, yeah. That stuff goes out the window. Yeah. You know, yeah. it really does. And that's the same feeling I had when I was coming to training camp. You'd walk out there, you'd see my dad, the guys from Westinghouse. Uh, that just got you through the next day, and it was one day at a time. You were talking about, uh, you know, the, the dream and, and, uh, and, and playing sports somewhere. Was the NFL a dream of yours, Major League Baseball, basketball? NFL, you, got a heck, you got a heck of a left shot there. I mean, NHL, uh, boxing. I mean, all I wanted to do, I still kind of look at my career, model my career the way an athlete would. You know, I feel like I got a certain amount of time to achieve my goals. I want to commit 110% to that. And then, you know, know when it's time to, to say enough, mm -hmm. you know. But uh, I've always looked at it like that. All my preparation is about, you know, trying to change physically. Mm -hmm. uh, these are the kind of roles that I look for. Well, getting rolling right into that, uh, talking, I, I want at some point, Mark, get back and talk a little bit at the relationship you had with your brothers and, and the games you played and how much they played a role in your development. Picture. But uh, at this particular stage, what did you do special? Did you do anything special to train for this role? Yeah, well, actually, I had to stop working out. I, like I said earlier, I came in really heavy into camp. Uh, it was the first time I was going directly back to back from one project to the other. So uh, I just had to change my routine completely. I, it, whenever I do lift weights, 
it's just a lot of reps, lightweight, uh, yeah, and mostly running. Yeah. You know, I know you. You know, that was what you were known for. You know, you, your wind and your, your ability to just keep going and going and going and never quit. So. Oh, that's the key for me in training camp, which is just being better, better conditioned than the other guys. Yeah. And what is there? There's no pressure. The guy is here on set every day. What am I going to say? I'm tired. I need a break. I'm hurt. You can't do that. That's uh, what, the movie's yeah. called Invincible. This, this guy's too much. You know? I, I, I'm, just, I'm just so impressed, and, I, and everybody I talk to, what's this, what's this guy Wahlberg about? You know, uh, I said, I'll tell you what he's about. He, he, he's got pride. He's got guts. He's an athlete. Uh, he's humble. He treats everybody with respect. Uh, Gabrielle and Vincent, my children, my wife, uh, <laughs> Janet, you treat them like you're part of the family. Uh, right I, I, as a person. Well, that's because I felt like I've been welcomed as part of the family. Yeah. Honestly, you know, and you could sit here and BS each other to death, yeah. you know, for the camera. But it's just it's just one of those magical things, yeah. you know. We yeah. have so much in common with, with our journeys, you know, yeah. where yeah. you came from, where yeah. I came from, what we made out of our lives with our careers yeah. and stuff. So it's uh, it's like, you know. Art imitating life in a lot of ways. Well, you're like the brother I never had.